Shader Silla is one of the most hyped and most recognized skater right now. He's skating for all the biggest companies, for Adidas, for Supreme, and he's actually a pro for Baker. And he's one of the biggest reasons that I even decided to try a Baker skateboard. So today, I'm gonna give my honest opinion on Baker skateboard decks. Just a spoiler alert, I was pretty disappointed. So before we get into why I was disappointed about this board, if you like these videos and you wanna see more of them pop up in your YouTube feed, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and comment. And if you can't get enough of this beautiful face, then you can follow me on Instagram, at the local Joe. Yeah, if you can't get enough of me, there you go. So the first thing that I wanna go over with this board is just the shape. So the shape of this board, it has a really mellow concave. When I bought it, it had a sticker that said this is the Baker OG shape, mellow concave. And they're not kidding, this board is really, really flat. Before this board, I was skating a zero board that had a ton of concave. And originally, I was somebody that really, really liked flat shapes, like a lot. I didn't like concave. But then that zero board lasted me so long that I got used to it. So when I was skating this, it really threw me off and I never felt like I really got used to the flat shape of it. So if you're somebody that likes a flat shape, I think you're definitely gonna like this board because uh, yeah, it is really flat. Now the next thing is just the pop of the board. The pop was crispy. I don't think it was really extra crispy, but it felt solid, it felt good. The only thing was that about two weeks in, I felt like that crispy feeling was gone and I've had boards that you know they may get razor tailed but they they stay like stiff and they feel good all the way up until like really like the last week and for this board it really started to feel gross a lot earlier than most other boards that I skate and boards that I like so I was disappointed in the pop of this board but initially it did start out good it just kind of didn't last really as long as I was wanting it to now I want to talk about the kicks the nose and the tail this is just like a standard popsicle shape you can see it's really not too wide it's not too pointy it's just kind of you know your standard looking popsicle board so there's nothing really particularly special about it you know it's not extra responsive it's not extra steep there's nothing really Really crazy about it it's just kind of you're not really gonna notice it when you're skating it that's that's probably the best way to say it. it's just it's there it does its job but it's not really anything unique the last thing I want to go over is the durability of the board and for me again I was super disappointed this board only lasted me three weeks and you're probably like Joe it's still in one piece you probably could have skated it longer and that is true but around two weeks in each time that I would board slide the board started to crack and it just felt like you know when you feel it starts to flex a lot it just you lose a lot of confidence in the board and in turn it starts to affect your skating because you're starting to think like is this the time that the board's gonna snap and so this went on for a week and I felt like I was playing Russian roulette with my skateboard so eventually uh, I'm just gonna switch to a new board and not have to think about my board I just want to be able to focus on skating so that's what I did so for me I was really disappointed you always want your board to enhance your skating for it to be something that gives you confidence rather than something that's kind of you know lingering in the back of your head am I gonna get wrecked because my board is flexing and just about to snap at any moment that's not what you want to be thinking about when you're skating so I was really surprised and how much I didn't like this board because I've heard so many good things about Baker and Deathwish boards particularly that they're really really durable so I think that this board may have been just a lemon I'm probably gonna buy another Baker or Deathwish board that way I can know whether or not this is just like a fluke or whether or not maybe I just like other brands better that are more durable and you know more my style now I do have an idea why I think that this skateboard started to break so fast but before I get into that I want to get a skate session today so I've got a list of tricks that I want to do and then a couple tricks that I've got bouncing around in my head that uh, would be NBDs for me so let's go ahead and get into the skate session
gonna say this for the trick challenge, but I wanna try a line. Basically, I'm trying to learn back 50s on this flat bar, on this round rail, I've never done it on a round rail. So the line that I want is back three, and then roll up and do back 50. I was just gonna do this trick by itself, but sometimes doing tricks in a line helps me to like commit to it. So if I get the back three, I'm gonna be like stoked and wanna get the back 50. So I think that will help me do it faster because I'm running out of time. So let's see how this goes. Yo, first back 50 on a round bar ever. First try. So a big reason why I didn't like this Baker board, I think the reason it was so weak is because the concave was so flat. Take a piece of paper and you bend it like this. If you bend it in one direction, it's almost impossible to bend it the other direction, right? It, it creates that resistance. But then when the paper is flat, you can bend it this way, you can bend it that way, it can bend whichever way. So having that curve provides some structure that makes the board stronger. And with this board, there's just barely any curve at all. So the reason I think that this board was so weak is because number one, I think it was probably a lemon, but number two, I feel like it's critical when the board has this flat of a shape that the construction is on point, otherwise this thing is gonna fold like a piece of paper. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you think that's a real thing or if I'm just blowing smoke, but super stoked on the session, on the tricks that I got today. I'm pretty much out of time, but I do wanna try one trick before I leave. I've been trying to learn five O's on that ledge over there. Somewhere in my brain, this little voice is telling me that I could do this on the flat bar. If I just really commit to it, I could get it in a few tries. So I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes and see if I can learn five O's on a flat bar. Leave in the comments below if you think I got it. Hopefully I don't get buckled and we come out of this with another new trick. Let's get it. So hyped. In every video, I'm plugging my clothing brand Friday. I want to explain what that means. This is what that is all about. There's that saying that if you do something that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And that's my goal is to make this my job because this is something that I love. And so if you're like me and you can't stand the idea of working a nine to five, you'd rather work nine to nine doing something that you love. That is what Friday is all about. Doing what you love every day feels like a Friday when you create a life that you love. And that's what this channel is all about. That's what you're watching me do, trying to build up this channel to make skateboarding my job. Thank you so much for your guys' support and make every day a Friday. You guys are the best. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Woo.